Now live, this is KIMA News at 11. can be as bad as guys do. They can do anything. They do break windows, jack, it don't matter. Beat up somebody, rush somebody, same exact way. Shedding some light tonight on why she got into and it stays in a local gang. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sten Wallstrom. And I'm Michelle Perot. Gangs are a growing problem in Yakima, but there's a growing trend that concerns not only law enforcement, but school officials as well. Girls joining gangs. Well, when I first joined a gang, it was because um, I was really depressed and I didn't have a lot of family or nothing. And I, I was like, I'll just get in it to have my family. Precious was just 15 years old when she was first rushed into her gang. She says while she joined it for a family experience, she wasn't prepared for the violence. First time I got beat up by a couple girls in the bathroom in a school, and they rushed me really bad. Like they beat you up for like 13 seconds. They'll do things like scratch up another female's face, um, or even use weapons to do a little bit more personal type crime or inflict a little bit more damage to an individual. Uh, but for the most part, the girls have uh, had a history of being a little bit more violent than the men would be. While the color of clothing is important to male gang members, it's just as important to female gang members. Precious is hanging out with a male group and they all wear blue. They also all have certain tattoos on their bodies and symbols and graffiti that distinguish them from other gangs. You mainly wear blue? Yeah. And is there some reasoning behind that? Is there any reason for that? I mean, just to represent that color, I guess, just to let you know who's who. Some of the trends that we're starting to see as well are uh, where the boys are wearing red and blue, the girls will be wearing pink and light blue. Uh, and we look at it as a lot more than just a fashion statement. These are things that are uh, ongoing. And uh, we look to try to get some of that information out to the public so that they can, in turn, be able to identify these girls for what they are. Precious says now that she's 18 and thought about it, she probably wouldn't join a gang again, and she warns other teens to stay out. The gang task force has noticed an increase in the number of girls in gangs and say you can expect to see even more in the coming years. Well, they are still on the list of possible suspects in the fire that destroyed their furniture warehouse, but tonight the family behind the name Big Kahuna here in the Valley says there's no doubt about what started that fire and that it was accidental. KIMA's Nicole Sanchez, though, shows us why investigators don't agree. It's a night the owners of Big Kahuna's Furniture and Spa will never forget. Father-son team Kelly and Eli Callahan say it gave... 